Hello friends, welcome to Leg Life. My name is Adam and welcome to our Wednesday video, our last video for the month of March. You guys, how in the world is 2021 a quarter of the way over? I don't I don't even understand how that is possible. Time is flying. But I'm really excited about today's vlog because there's some things we're gonna show you. Uh, we're gonna show you like some meal planning, some meal prep kind of recipe planning stuff we're doing, some grocery shopping. I wanna give you guys like a haul from some Shop 49th stuff that we've ordered this month I want to show you just like a whole bunch of stuff just stick with us in this vlog because I think this is gonna be a good one Okay, so I'm trying something new when it comes to our weekly meal planning and our weekly grocery shopping. I'm using this sheet. I'm gonna show you more in a second. Uh, our friend Auburn recently did like a meal planning, meal prep video, and I found it really helpful because one of the things that Sherry and I struggle with is that we will have a general idea of like things we wanna make through the week, and then we go grocery shopping. And it's like, okay, well, I need to buy this, I need to buy that. The problem is that like we don't do all of the like pre steps at home before we go to the store. So we end up buying so much stuff that we actually already have. And then we just have like so much of it that some of it gets thrown away, some of it expires. And so I feel like doing um, like some of this meal planning fully in advance is really going to help us. So. Auburn posted a link to this uh, downloadable sheet. I'm gonna link to her video down below if you wanna check it out. But this is my first time using it. And let me show you, because I really love it. So this has like the menu for each week over here. And then on this side, it has grocery list. So what I did is I went through and I was like, okay, what do we already have on hand that I need to use? Well, I know we have some like grilled steak that we need to use. So I thought tomorrow we will do steak quesadillas. Uh, and then Tuesday we can do meatball bake. So I kind of go through and I plan the different meals. And then I walked through and I saw, okay, what do I need for this? Well, I have the steak, I have the cheese, I don't have tortillas. So tortillas went on my grocery list. So this was like super, super helpful because I know now that when I go to the grocery store, I'm only getting the items that I actually need for the meals that we're making. And that really has been one of the biggest issues for us is that I just, I buy so many things that we already have. And so I think doing it like this, fingers crossed, is really gonna help us. So meal planning for the week, done. Grocery list for the week, done. Now, I just have to go do a little bit of shopping. All right, stop number one, and I'm already breaking one of my rules. Remember like, what, a few vlogs ago? And I was like, you know what? No more Costco on the weekends. Well, it's Sunday and I'm at Costco. Uh, there's just, there's one thing that we need and we need it today and we get it at Costco. So here we go. I'm not gonna vlog in Costco because if you guys remember, Costco on the weekends trying to vlog is crazy. Costco on the weekends is like, you it's like a recon mission. Mission. You go in, you get what you need, and you try not to die. That's Costco on the weekends. In, grab what you need, and out, hopefully, with your life. So, fingers crossed, I come out with what I need. And, well, and my life. All right, let's see how this goes. Uh-oh, this is not good. The CeraVe lotion is what I'm here for that we've been buying here for Sherry. And, oh no, they don't have it here anymore. Crud. Well, the main thing I needed there, they didn't have. Costco does not have CeraVe right now. Dang it. So a lot of you guys have been following along on Sherry's health journey know that's been like the one thing that's been working on her skin. And we've, well, at the height of this, we were going through one a day and they're so expensive. But at Costco, they were a good price. Costco doesn't have them. So we're not quite going through one a day anymore. We're probably going through one every two or three days, but we're still using it quite a bit. Um, so I think I'm probably, Gonna have to figure something else out. I bought a few other things at Costco. We were almost out of Parmesan cheese and this is like such a good deal, so I got that. Um, we needed more, what is this, Benadryl. So I got the Costco brand Benadryl and fish oil pills. That was one of the things that Sherry's doctor said she wanted her to start taking was fish oil pills. And like this gigantic thing was like, I don't know, like $6.99 for 400 pills. That's amazing. So. Got a few things at Costco, but did not get the one thing that I really wanted from there. It's okay, it's all gonna work out now. Let's go to Fred Meyer and finish our shopping. All right, I got a few of the things that I need. Now I'm looking for low carb tortillas, meatballs, lotion, and a couple other things. 
I need two of these for dinner. Well, Fred Meyer does not have the CeraVe lotion either. Crud. I uh, guess I will have to go to a third store to try to find it. Now we need cat litter and cat food. And the litter we get, Missy, is this lightweight stuff. Okay. And now for Missy's cat food, she is very picky and she likes the Meow Mix Tender Centers, which are these. Now the last thing I need before I leave are two bookends for the new bookshelf. And honestly, I'm not really sure where bookends would be, so I'm just gonna kinda walk around and see what I can find. Are bookends even still a thing anymore? Like, I'm not seeing these anywhere. Well, apparently CeraVe lotion and bookends are gonna be the bane of my existence today because I cannot find either anywhere. Well, ha. <sighs> The search for CeraVe continues. Some of you guys will remember that this is like what our life was like at the peak of like Sherry's skin issue. Now we are gonna go to Walgreens and fingers crossed, they have CeraVe. I am not going home until I find it. If I have to go to like every store in Anchorage, I am finding CeraVe for Sherry because today I think is the last day that she has um, with what we have at home. So I'm not going home until I find it. So fingers crossed, the Walgreens right across the street has it. All right, Walgreens, this is your moment to shine. Well, they don't have the CeraVe, but they do have one of the Walgreens brand, which we've had before and works. Ah, oh, that's a great price. I wish they had more of these, but one will at least buy us a couple days. Well, it's definitely better than nothing, so I'm glad I found this. Back home, survived Costco, survived Fred Meyer, survived Walgreens, Sherry Beth, I was able to track down one thing of lotion for you. <laughs> that's just ridiculous. It is crazy. So we did order some from Amazon, uh, so we have more on the way, but I'm definitely gonna try to go to Walgreens and find more. But one thing I wanted to do in this vlog, since today's the last day of March, which again, insane, is I wanted to show you guys the stuff that Sherry and I ordered from our Shop 49th businesses this month. Sort of a little small business Shop 49th haul. It's only gonna take a minute or so, and then we'll give some more updates on Sherry's health, how she's doing, and just other fun like life stuff. So for Shop 49th this month, we had five businesses and one nonprofit. So I'm gonna start right here, the Alaskan Fudge Company. They are in Juneau, Alaska. Um, I ordered their like combo pack of fudge. And so there are three different flavors in here. There's Inside Passage, which is chocolate peanut butter. Yes, please. There's the uh, Chill Cat Cookies and Cream, which is vanilla and cookies. And then there's Mocha Mousse, dark chocolate and coffee. Oh my gosh, obviously not keto. So we're gonna, we're gonna hold on to this for a little bit, but that will get consumed soon. Then we have Stoked Beekeeping, which is in Homer, Alaska. I got two different kinds of their honey. This is their fireweed honey. And just look how like clear that is. Amazing. And then this is their Alaska wildflower honey. So got one of each of those from Stoked. And then up here, this is from Klondike Supply. Got three things from them. First of all, some of you guys will have seen this in the back of our videos already. This Land of the Midnight Sun pennant. I absolutely love, love, love that. And then this was fun. They have a little Baby Yoda, a little Gogurt sticker. He's in an extra tough. And if you don't know what an extra tough is, it's like this ugly Alaskan rubber boot that everybody wears. And he's even holding like a little Alaska flag. I just, it's so cute, had to have it. And the other thing I got from there, just cause this was amazing, it's a sushi themed birthday card. I don't know who we're giving that to, but somebody. And then the next business is from the town of Whittier, Alaska. This is the Prince William Sound Salt Company. I got three different kinds of salt from them. Uh, and sorry if some of these have been opened, they're just, well, they were too good not to wait. Um, I got a bigger thing of the roasted garlic sea salt. You guys know my love for garlic. I got the alder smoked sea salt, and then the finishing, just the pure finishing sea salt uh, on top of like avocado toast, on top of cookies, on top of things like that. So, big fan of those three. And then the last business is Water Body from the town of Wrangell, Alaska. I got a couple things from them. This is like their healing balm. It's just sort of like a, like a rough skin hand balm. I love the size of this, because I can just like keep this in my pocket, especially in the winter, and use it. But this product, next, you guys. I am in love with. It's the Midnight Bloom Body Butter. And I'm gonna open it up just so you can see that I have already like been using a bunch of it. 
I wanted to try it out on areas of like rough skin that I have and holy cow, it is working so good. I love the smell of it. I love the way that it feels. Um, of the things that I've used, like products we've bought at the store, different things like that, this actually works the best. So I am completely, completely sold on the Midnight Bloom Body Butter from Water Body. And then this month, we actually added a nonprofit to our list of Shop 49th businesses. We added the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center. Uh, you guys have seen it a lot in our vlog. Sharon, I love what they do. We love their mission. But obviously, because of canceled cruise ships and because of a lack of tourism, they're being impacted significantly. So we encourage you guys to like go online, make donations, adopt animals, buy stuff from their Amazon wish list, and you absolutely did. And so let me show you what Sherry and I did. This is adorable. We adopted a lynx. Look at that. There's our certificate of adoption they sent us. This is China, the lynx, and we actually chose the lynx because of Missy. Like, Missy is a torty lynx, the type of cat she is. She has like those little like face puffs on the side of her face. And we thought, what a fun thing to do. So, we adopted a lynx. And I think, I'm not sure, I think that means we get to bring it home one weekend a month. Is that, <laughs> is that not true? What a vlog that would be like, wild lynx in our house. Anyway, not true, but I do love that our money went to support such an important cause. And, and I just love that, uh, I just love that all of these businesses have been supported in a way that they wouldn't have otherwise if Shop 49th didn't exist. And I say this all of the time, but Shop 49th is a success, not because we started it, but because you guys are doing this, because you guys are participating. Um, you're making a difference. These businesses are having better months and weeks and years because you guys are showing up online when other people can't show up in person because of COVID, because of a canceled cruise season and all of that kind of stuff. So from the bottom of our heart, thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting the Shop 49th businesses. Uh, no sale is too small. I promise you, anything you can do makes a difference. And just so you know, tomorrow is April 1st. We normally don't update a video on Thursday or upload a video on Thursday, but since it's the first of the month, you're gonna get a video from us tomorrow announcing all of the April Shop 49th businesses. So, these are the products that we bought from all of the businesses this month, and I'm excited because tomorrow, we get to start shopping from a whole group of new businesses. Obviously, I know who they are because I picked them. I think you guys are gonna love them. I'm so excited for tomorrow's video for you guys announcing that, but this is what we got this month. <sighs> this Shop 49th thing, I just love it. And since it's the last day of March, um, <laughs> Sherry is finally changing our giant chalkboard that like goes here above our TV to something that, well, may fit the season a little bit more than Merry Christmas. A little less Christmassy. Although at this point, we should just leave it up. I know, probably. And we could put our tree back up. Oh no, I already erased it. Okay. Okay, Sherry is finished with the chalkboard. You guys ready to see it? It turned out so good. It's super cute. Sherry, do you like it? I think so. Looks really fun, so let's uh, put it up on the wall and show it to you guys. Look how cute that is. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. Sure, has got a little flower down there, a little flower up there. We've got a little butterfly. <laughs> And jump ahead. Hello, friends. It is a couple days later. I'm um, sitting here in the studio getting some work done. Look, I actually have help today. Missy is down here, just snuggled up next to me. Uh, she knows that I'm wearing black pants and a black shirt today. So she's like, oh, I can, uh, I can be totally annoying and get hair everywhere. Also, look at this. Like, do you guys see this? This is a whisker. Missy, why is there like just a random... This is why you don't have a boyfriend, Missy. This is why. But she is an amazing, amazing cat. Sherry and I have been good the last few days. Sherry's feeling a little bit better, which is nice. Her skin continues to clear up. Again, it's kind of a two steps forward, one step back sort of thing. We've been sticking to our meal plan that you guys saw earlier in this vlog. Tonight is going to be the meatball bake, which is one of our very favorite meals. It's so quick, it's so simple, and we just like, we love it. But I do have a couple of things that I wanna to do today that I wanna bring you guys along to do, so, uh, Let's leave the house. The first stop we need to make has to do with the Jeep because you guys, look at how dirty this thing is right now. Like, can you guys see this? It's crazy. We're in a time of year here in Alaska that is called breakup. Basically what that means is that all of the snow that's gathered and that's fallen all winter long is now starting to melt. Everything is starting to break up. And so everything is melting, everything is muddy, everything is dirty. And we don't normally wash vehicles a lot during breakup just because there's like, Honestly, there's not a lot of point because in like 20 minutes driving, they just get dirty again. But this thing is like so, so dirty that I'm just gonna take it through and do like a really cheap car wash. Uh, so I'll probably do that like once a week until breakup is over, just to at least get one layer of dirt off 
until the next layer <laughs> of dirt comes back. So step one, let's go get the Jeep washed. Now for my breakup car washes, I do not want like a good car wash. I do not want an expensive car wash. I don't want a super good job done. I want the cheapest possible car wash I can get that basically just like gets this layer of dirt off. And so I'm curious to know if there's any other Alaskans watching this, do you guys have like your go-to like breakup cheap car washes that you use during this time of the year? Because like if you go spend 20 bucks on a car wash, you literally drive out of the car wash get splashed with a muddy puddle and then all of that work you just did oh gosh is gone now i probably shouldn't even wash the jeep but the problem is that like even putting grocery bags in the back a couple days ago my hands were all dirty like anytime you get in the vehicle you're just like so dirty so gross so i want to at least get like a cheap wash done so there's this car wash that's actually the closest one to our house the problem is that it's kind of expensive so we don't go there during breakup season but this car wash this one is nice and cheap they have a nine dollar basic wash which for anchorage is pretty great you have selected the basic car wash please deposit please wait while your transaction is processed right, moment of truth oh yeah so much better look you guys i can actually wipe the front of my headlights and uh, no dust comes off. So much better. Here's the problem though. You can look out there and see how wet the roads are. And I know I'm going to drive out there for like five minutes and the Jeep's going to be dirty again. But for those five minutes, it's going to be clean and I'm so happy. Also, I understand that the term breakup is not one that most people use in other places. In fact, I'm interested to know, do you guys use the term breakup for the time of year where you live? Uh, that's kind of why I wanted to explain it because if I just said breakup season, you guys would probably be like, wait a second, why do all the relationships end in the spring? But that's not what I'm talking about. This is the time of year uh, right now when I don't love to have people come visit Alaska, honestly, because it's not like the beautifulness of winter where everything is white and and pure and perfect uh, but it's also not like this amazing summer yet when everything is green and lush and like just amazing like it is in the summer it's sort of this between season I'm just like oh gross so visit if you're gonna visit Alaska summer fall or winter I love those seasons here but there's like a two or three week period that we're just entering right now and um, honestly not great. The next stop for me is actually gonna be Uncle Leroy's Coffee, but that is where I'm gonna end the vlog. So I'm gonna go in and work for a few hours. I got a bunch of stuff that I need to get done. Uh, friends, thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for doing our meal planning, our shopping with us. Uh, thanks for checking out all of our Shop 49th uh, products that we ordered this month. Remember, today is the last day of the month. So those five items are, or those five shops, go support them. I'm gonna link all the Shop 49th info down below. Would love to have you go support them. And then tomorrow, remember, tomorrow we are launching all of our new Shop 49th businesses. You guys are going to have a video right here on Leg Life on a Thursday, even though we don't normally upload on Thursdays. Uh, it's going to be our announcement video with all of the new businesses, and I am so excited for the business. I say that every month because I just, I am. I'm so excited because we get to help more people. You know what? It's not about more businesses. It's that in one day, tomorrow as you guys are watching this, we get to help more people people and how stinking cool is that uh and then thanks for hanging out with me as i explained what the heck breakup season is here in alaska friends as always love you guys so very much thank you for being a part of our community thank you for all the ways that you support and encourage sherry and i through everything really good things and really hard things you guys are there for us and we appreciate it so very much we love you and we will see you on the next leg life video